In activity 11, you're going to make a button which replaces the hyperlink that you have on your website already. So we're asked to delete everything in the p tag and create a new line of code called button. So let's come down here. Just going to create the button first. Um, the example given was link to website, so I'll use that link to website and then close my button tag. If I run this now, there's a button that pops up and at the moment I can click it all I like but nothing's going to happen because we've made a button but it doesn't actually do anything. We haven't given it any code to do anything or go anywhere. And our hyperlink actually still has code to work. So if I hold down control and, yep, there we go, it works, it goes off somewhere. So I'm going to make these side by side and then delete the, the one we made in the last activity. Uh, because what you'll see is our button just gets wrapped up exactly the same as our text did before in a paragraph tag. So I'm going to start with my A's like we did in the last activity then add in my href and my quotation marks. I've already got the link to the website I want to get to here so I'll paste that in and now if I run this the A tag is wrapping up the button so it should link. Yes it has. It's opened it up. Okay, so we can delete activity 10's work, which was this one here. Then refresh again, and all we should see is this. So the problem here is that it's not inside a paragraph tag, so it's sitting up next to the image. We could put in a line break to shoot it down underneath. Or probably better practice is to put it inside a paragraph tag. And it gets this little space here. So if I want to test that out, I can download the HTML file, open it up in a browser, and then it'll take me there. So have we ticked off all the boxes for activity 11? Let's find out. Yes, we've made a button, and yes, we've put the hyperlink around it. So we can export it and send it off.